Hello and welcome, or welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyler, also known as The Chez, and this is Chezzy Jones, baby, where I try to bring humor and entertainment to the EDM space. And today we're checking out the newest Invaders EP, We'll Be Leaving Shortly. I do follow Invaders, but I don't feel like too much of his music has clicked with me, but I do keep up hope. Some bangers come through once in a while, so we'll see what this EP is bringing for us. So we've got four tracks here. We'll be leaving shortly. Let's check it out, baby. First track is Holding On To Smoke. Okay. Sounds like some crows laughing at me. I like the kind of somber guitar though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me! It's got the bass. It's got the rumble factor. But I don't think that main sound is doing quite enough. A little repetitive. I mean, it is, you know, rid of me, but still. Enjoying this track is like holding on to smoke. You. You can't, you can't do anything with this. I realize that looks weird. I, I know, you don't gotta put it in the comments. Just tweak the sound for the second drop at least. Don't use the same sound. Got some panning, which I was already kind of swaying to the pan. Okay, it's different. We change it up. Again, that sub, that low end is doing good. I don't think the main synth is creative enough, though. Because even if it's a little repetitive, that's fine if the sound is gripping, but I don't feel like it's gripping. What a short track. So that's fine. You know, throw it on, get your head banging in, get out of there. Not the strongest start for me. I don't think it's super memorable. Next up, we got a collab with Nerve. Convergence. Okay. Okay. Yeah, ooh, grungy, gritty guitars, let's go. But I feel like people rarely pay it off when they incorporate metal type elements, rock type elements. No, where's the low end? I feel like the guitar is too much high end now, or mid. There's not, it's missing some low end. It was good in the beginning where it had some bass to it. Bring it back. Converge. Like the little percussion he fills in there. Still slightly repetitive, but I like this sound more. I think it's got more groove to it, a little more. It's not just wah, wah, wah. It's got a little more motion to it. I'm getting a phone call. I'm getting a phone call. Ah, uh, pause. All right, we're back. I rewound it a little bit. I was wiping off my screen while I was on the phone. It's pretty dirty, so we'll just keep that right there. I was gonna say, even though it is still kind of repetitive, I like that this has a little more flow to it. It's got a little more stabbiness, a little more punchiness. It's a little more entertaining for the ears. I think this guitar doesn't sound real enough. I like when it's more muted, because it's a little more do do do. Now it's like dang, dang, dang. That was a bad impersonation, but you know, too much mid and high up in here. Let's go. Nah, I don't really like this part that much. I don't like, oh no. Don't bring out any form of squares. No squares, definitely not four of them. Yeah, that second part wasn't, wasn't clicking. Definitely not double clicking. I wasn't opening it up, I can tell you that much. Not a super interesting bridge here. And like that, the guitar could be, I like the melody the guitar is doing, but I need like a bass guitar under it or something. It needs more layers. It doesn't sound full. Final drop though. Give me more of what was in the first part, not the second part. Or do something completely different. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun enough, I think. But overall still feels kind of, just kind of mid, pretty average, but still not bad. 
There's a difference between bad and average. But I think he could be doing something a little more or the sounds just need to be a little different. It's not, not quite there to be super memorable. I like it better than the first song though, for sure. Next up is Won't Get Lost. We've got a map. We know the path we need to go down. We're not getting lost here, okay? Just head north. Don't diverge from the path. Oh. Oh, this is the one on the Knights of the Round Table, right? Yeah, this is definitely, yeah. I've heard this before. Because I remember really loving this intro. Yeah, I remember that. Wait, this is the this is the freaking hot cross buns, isn't it? It is. This is the hot cross buns VIP bootleg. So funny, dude. Did you realize that you did that? Hot cross buns. Yeah. God, man, it's so funny. It's so funny that that's what it is. Well, I don't really have too much to say about this. I feel like I got my thoughts out in the Knights of the Round Table reaction. So feel free to listen to that or watch that if you haven't already. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I found it entertaining to say the least, but I do love the guitar. I love the, the bridge and the opening and everything here. It's great, but I'm not that big of a fan of hot cross buns. <laughs> All right, and final track here called Mind, but instead of an I, it is three exclamation points. So it's Mind with Niptain. Niptain. I like the way the, the drums are mixed. It's like organic. <coughs> I'm choking on the beat. That's deep. That's deep. It sounds like it could be interesting. What we got? That's deep. That's low. This is more of that psychedelic kind of wubbing vibe, which isn't usually my thing. I don't find it to be bad or offensive or anything. It's just not super interesting to me, this style of the of wub. Production is pretty solid on this though. And I feel like these types of songs are better live because it's just, it's almost entirely the low end, you know, the bass just moving the floor. Oh, okay. Pick it up. Pick it up a little bit. Pick it up. Pick it up a little bit. Pick it up. Pick it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Got some cool noises. I like the second half a lot more. It's got a lot more going for it. A lot more interest. It does say mind a lot. I'm starting to mind how much it's saying the word mind. Yeah, the way these drums are mixed is weird. They sound so real. The drums are in the room with me. Okay. I feel like I'll be leaving shortly after listening to those songs. Okay, it's not it's not that serious, but I thought it was fine. I thought it was pretty average. I do feel like it was pretty creative. I feel like each song was pretty different from the last, uh, you know, different style to it. There was definitely elements to enjoy. I like the incorporation of guitars. I like the percussion in a lot of it. I think it's mostly just that the style isn't necessarily for me. Not that you did anything wrong or bad or, you know, nothing was poorly made. Although again, to have the balls to remix hot cross buns, I don't know if that earns you points or deducts points, but I like the melodies you do with guitars. I like seeing what you come up with in that realm. I think it's very unique and interesting, but the drops usually don't hit me the way they should. I think mind is kind of that psychedelic, just feeling the bass, moving your body back and forth kind of tone to it. And that's enjoyable for what it is. And again, I really like the the intro when it with uh, Won't Get Lost. Wasn't a fan of holding on to smoke. Uh, and I think Convergence is probably the highlight for me. I think it's the fattest. I think it hits the hardest. I think it's got the most energy to it. Although there are pieces of it I didn't admire too much. I think there was enough there that did work. So overall, I think it's not necessarily for me, but I do enjoy what it has to offer. I do like pieces of it. I think it's still worth people checking out and listening to. 
uh, especially if you're into those types of styles, I think it'll resonate with you a lot more than it did with me personally. But still, going to keep on keeping up with your music and checking out what you got to offer. And that's really it. Uh, what did you guys think of the EP? What do you think of Invaders? And what should I check out next? As always, I appreciate your guys' support. Thank you for checking out these videos and listening to me ramble about music. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like the video, follow me on social medias, all of that good stuff. Check out my YouTube shorts or my TikToks uh, because I do do, I do do <laughs> uh, weekly recommendations for songs that came out this week that are worth checking out. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one and keep on jamming out, my dudes. Peace.